Putin. Oh. Did you see what it revealed? No. Oh, the Jesus thing? Yeah. The Jesus black? So they've been holding, if you guys haven't seen, I forgot what is, how to pronounce it, but they've been holding this thing for a while now. I'm talking about like a while, while. And now he finally released it to prove that Jesus was actually black. Now I don't be, I don't know. I heard Jesus is brown though all the time. I don't, I don't know what to believe, but at the end of the day, it's just a trip because that leads into what I'm talking about now. You know the Victor writes the history, right? The what? Victor writes history. Once, five, throw them twenties. Looking dumb in the club, throw no money. Didn't want me, it's so funny. Now nah, they get kill it, go get her or go for me. I done made a couple of hundred through pandemic. Hard six Vegas like P, no damn limit. The last nigga money was short, that damn midget. Lifestyle rebels won't work, I can't fit it. Then he plus the fuck on Netflix. Get her on the prom, then I'm hitting the next bitch. Bitch, your last nigga don't exist. Hard again, but he goes, I do it for the birds. I make them, I don't know, it's fucking hard ass lyric for you, bro. I'll send it. What's going on, guys? Big Chief here. Welcome back to another episode of To Be Blunt. I'm here with your co-host, D -D DJ Birdwater. Birdwater in the building. You already know the vibe. Light up, smoke up. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Let's get to it. All that, all that. Hey, this What's is my good? first blunt of today. This is my, this is like day 13 of uh, day, actually... Yeah, this is like day 13 of Ramadan. Yeah. I fasted for 13 days already, 12 days, 13 days, you know? Bro, I, I can't eat. So, so Ramadan, if you I know yeah, you want to yeah. ask me. So Ramadan is like, <laughs> it's not just like only not eating. It's you can't drink water, you can't smoke, you can't fuck, you can't do nothing. So no, no food, no drink, no water. It's all about discipline from sunrise to sunset. Yeah. So like the sun, uh, it's like from like 6, 6 in the morning to like 7 p.m., you know what I mean? At first, when I was younger, it was kind of hard, you know what I mean? But then I started realizing, like, how much better of a person I felt within myself with all the discipline doing this. I had, no one's watching me except for God, you feel me? I don't have to do it. Even even today, I didn't even have to do it. Yeah. No one, Who's going to tell me, hey, you're not fasting? Like, no one's going to come tell me that. But personally, bro, I'm not going to lie to you. I feel like I get closer to God, like, more closer to God this month. Yeah. And then it, like, stays with me throughout the whole year until next year, bro. Yeah. Um. I mean, I, I get that because I feel like when you're so in tune with something that you truly believe in and have passion for and something that you do every year, especially for religion, like, bro, you're going to be more clear-headed. You're going to be more in tune with yourself. So that's dope, bro. More pro hey, wait, we haven't done this in a while, but pro uh, blunt cheers, bro. Blunt cheers to that. And on top of that, bro, I smoke all fucking day from 6 in the morning, 5, 6 in the morning to, like, I go to sleep. Sometimes I go to sleep at 2 in the morning, 3 in the morning, doing some shit, you know? Mm -hmm. And I'm smoking blunt after blunt. <laughs> a blunt in my hand. Every 20, 30 minutes, a new blunt, a new blunt, right? So my biggest thing is not the food. It's not the water. It's not the, like, have, like even, like, relieving myself or doing sex, whatever, whatever it is. You know what I mean? Not relieving myself. I could take a shit and piss during Ramadan. <laughs> Don't take that. But, uh, what? Oh, yeah. Thank you, my boy. But, like, honestly, it's the whole concept of not smoking really gets me. Cause I'll be inside. I'll be like going through the day, and I don't get mad anymore, bro. I even this Ramadan, like something just happened right now that pissed me off, and I was like, okay. Yeah. But I'm not even high doing this. Normally, I smoke weed, and it helps me like really like not give a fuck about things like that are little minor shit like that, right? Uh -huh. I really I have no ego towards it, dude. During Ramadan, it's like it hasn't affected me. People are like, hey, can you stop smoking weed? Hell the fuck, yeah, I can. Mm -hmm. But I during the day, at least once a day, I go, man, I love smoking weed. Yeah. <laughs> I, oh, I yeah, can yeah. smell, because like, I don't smell like weed all day. I can I Someone lit a blunt across the street the other day, and I go, <gasps> smell that I shit. smelt that motherfucker. Yeah. I go, this is crazy right now. Yeah. So, and there was a guy smoking a keefed up joint the other day, and I don't even smoke the keefed up joints. Damn. I went up to bro, I go, this smells good, bro. Yeah. <laughs> that shit is strong, Keith. You ever had another friend that do Ramadan except for me in your life? No, no. <laughs> you even have Muslim my, people? Where I grew up, there's not really Muslim people? Muslims, huh, huh Mac? Y'all didn't grow with no Muslims? <laughs> Was I one of the first Muslim people y'all met? Actually, no, I did. Uh, My middle school best friends, they're Arabic, Muslims. Oh, you had your uh, Muslim Muhammad, friends. <laughs> you had a friend named Muhammad before me? Yeah, Muhammad, Ibrahim, uh, Assam. Yeah, they, they used to do it. I, I don't know why I completely lost. Like, I haven't talked to them in years, but yeah, they used to do it. Shout out. But they, they weren't like, you could tell some half of the homies, they, they're all family that I knew. 
They didn't give a fuck. They're living like Americans. Nah, it's not even living like Americans. <laughs> Don't even say it like that. It's to the point where, like, I have a lot of friends, mm-hmm. like, that choose to fast or not to fast. I, what yeah. I tell them is, like, everyone has their own key. Mm-hmm. And I go, why don't you, uh, I sometimes, like, hey, why don't you fast? And, like, they'll tell me here or there. But I respect, uh, I respect it. They're like, why would I do it for somebody else when, uh, for somebody else to show them when I'm not doing it for God? I'm just showing yeah. it for show. I go, that's the realest thing I fucking heard right there. Yeah. I'm like, don't do it for people. Do it for between you and your relationship with God, right? right. So I don't be judging if people don't yeah. fast, all that. I'm like, that's your lane, bro. And I'm going to say my <laughs> yeah, lane. You can't judge. And they're still good. They're still good Muslims, bro. They're good, still good people. It's like, it's just like the discipline in order for you to do that is like, okay, I'm not going to eat food. And it, it's like discipline. And the best part about fasting, if you guys didn't know, there's like, uh, there's cells and stuff in your uh, enzymes in your stomach and uh, like in your intestine system that process and breaks down food, right? But there's these bad cells that come on there and they absorb all the food nutrients and all the shit and it's just kill and it's feeding and getting bigger and bigger, right? Mm-hmm. And that shit can cause like long term stomach issue, lining problems, or every single thing. So when you're not eating all day, your stomach is recovering, mm-hmm. right? And then when I do eat at night, it is, it is processing well. Within the third week mark, bro, my my everything is just so amazing, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you, like from taking a shit to every single thing, my stomach and my body is like on tune, mm-hmm. and it sounds wild, but I gain weight during Ramadan. Oh. Why though? Interesting. You know why I gain weight during Ramadan? A lot of people say they lose weight. Well, I know why. Why? You slow down your metabolism when you slow down your. This is this is just body science. When you're used to eating for a period amount of a uh, period amount of time throughout the day, weekly throughout the years, and then you suddenly stop, you slow down your metabolism. When you slow down your metabolism, your body holds on to more stuff. So you could retain or gain weight. Mm, yeah, that's a good one too. Yeah, I just been eating more at night. Normally, I don't eat till like five p.m., mm-hmm. six p.m. Then I won't eat like till like, like right before I go to sleep. But dude, I'm not gonna lie to you. I just ate a little bite of a burger right now. I'm gonna finish that. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna eat another meal. Yeah. Then right before I go to sleep, I eat another meal. I ate three meals right there. No, you feel like me consistently doing that? I'm like, <coughs> oh, this is lit, yeah. bro. Like I'm actually like gaining weight because normally my only downfall. I go to the gym every day. See, a lot about six days a week. I go to the gym. I'm like really focused on drinking water every day. I just mm. don't eat. So when Ramadan's coming, I start eating more, bro. I'm not, I start eating more. Start gaining weight. Second thing is, I get more work done. Yeah. I get so much more work done. Normally, I'm like like rolling blunts and stuff doesn't slow me down, bro. But I get a lot. It's like not even high or not, bro. I feel like since I'm not smoking weed, yeah. I have to put my energy. I, I don't know. You have to, yeah, yeah. I just I just go Better and go and go yourself. and I go and I go. Yeah. And I was like, I gotta not only better myself here, but I gotta actually be better than last month because my routine, bro, it's the same. Mm-hmm. I'm just fasting through it. I didn't change nothing. Yeah. People will literally wake up at 3, 4 p.m. and only fast three hours a day type shit. Mm-hmm. That, I feel like that's not right. That's not That's not right. You're not doing it right. We're not doing Just live your regular. It, just do it. If you're going to do it, do it correctly. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. I'm not telling you how to do it, but it's like you live in, you do your normal things that you're doing. You know what I mean? And you're fasting through it so you can actually see the test and everything. When you don't eat, your brain changes, your mood changes. Mm-hmm. Everything is different. You know what I mean? And then when uh, when you're like full, you don't really think of the same emotions. You're not really like emotional off. off yeah. that. People get mad when they don't eat, right? They get cranky, right? Yeah. So imagine that every single day, but as soon as I get angry and mad, my fast breaks. Yeah. Ramadan's over, type shit. not over, but like my fast is done for the day. So I'm not trying to get mad. Yeah. Like literally at all. And bro, over the years, has really helped me out. People are like Ramadan's only for like, oh, you don't eat or drink. Nah. <laughs> Go look it up. There's so much more, more that goes into it. And <coughs> what I noticed, bro, even in this topic, you seen Lil John convert two weeks you ago, last me, week? Yeah, you told me. Bro, you know what? There's somebody that converts every single day, right? I'll give you two examples. And then there's uh, there's people, I've been seeing people convert every Friday. They go to a mosque and give the shahada, and I'm like, that's crazy. Like, that's, it's pretty cool. I met, a, I met a lady that was like 40 years old, 50 years old. I went to my friend, uh, I went to Omar's mom, uh, mom's house, right? And she was helping some lady. And uh, and she goes, uh, Omar's mom goes, Mohammed, this is my uh, this is my friend. She's Cuban. She just converted. And I'm looking at her. I'm like, I went up to her, start talking to her. I was goes, Hey, you know how to make Cuban food? She goes, Yeah. What do you like? I said, She had Cuban sandwiches. Then she started speaking Spanish, bro. I was like, Oh, this is cool. Then I asked her, Hey, how'd you convert? Mm-hmm. She goes, You 
this is kind of crazy. She goes, I heard the azan, which is goes, Allah, you, heard, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? It's like the whole thing. She goes, I started breaking down and crying. Mm -hmm. And I looked into it more and more. And then I converted uh, during COVID online because wow. you can't go anywhere. Right, right. And then she really got into the religion, that part. And then she was doing all her fasting in Ramadan. I looked at this lady and go, why'd you do this? She goes, I just found out it's a way of life. It's just yeah. peace. And yeah. I go, Damn, don't you hate when people fucking look at my look like look at my shit and be like, damn, they're just evil. They did this and they did yeah. that. I go, media's a bitch, isn't it? She goes, truly is the most peaceful religion in the world. Crazier today, same thing happened to me today. I was at the Islamic Center, uh -huh. but one of uh, you know, I went to exhibits uh, store opening two weeks ago, a week ago. Yeah, yeah. There's a gentleman that walked up to me, bro, and he goes, "What's up, bro? I'm Snoop's homie. I met you when I, we were Nelly and them backstage, and um, he's he's connected though." And Wait, I, I don't want to get off topic because I wanted to. Bring no, 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 this is on topic. Oh, okay, okay. So pretty much, uh, I'm at the mosque today, bro, and I got my African brothers. Like they're super. They're from Senegal. Mm. So it's like you see the Senegal. Yeah, I think Senegal. And he, uh, I just dap him up, and some dude turn around and the dude tap me. He goes, the guy was trying to dap you up too, and I tapped him up. But I'm like, this motherfucker familiar. You know what I mean? So I'm like going through the whole thing. The dude waited till I got done praying. He goes. I met you last week at the exhibit thing. Do you remember? Oh, he pulled my picture up. Look, I'll show you the picture. Yeah. He pulls his picture up. He goes, I just converted. Oh, shit. He goes, I'll go, this is your first time at this mosque? He goes, my nephew brought me here last week. I go, and then his name is Jamal, bro. He walked out with me. He look, he sent me a picture, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. <coughs> Every, I'm, Let me not to get too off topic, but let me, see, let me show you this. Because it made my fucking day, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. That was at the opening. He sent me that today. Oh, dope. Yeah, yeah. So it's like it's like full circle. I'm like, yeah. And I looked at him in the mosque. I go, hey, look around, bro. How many different type of people are in here? I go, look, the white boy, Hispanic guy, the African brothers, the actual black people from LA, Pakistanian people, mm -hmm. like uh, like uh, Arabic people. He's standing right. He goes, I go, where else do you see this? He goes, nowhere. Mm -hmm. I've never seen this anywhere like this. And I feel that feeling every Friday. I go. Dang, there's so many different type of people in the world. It only makes me stronger to my religion. But I never want to tell somebody, hey, don't believe in what you believe in. Because mm -hmm. we all believe in what we believe in. But if you're going to do something, take pride in it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then this month of Ramadan is so beautiful for me, for me because of that reason. And if y'all didn't know, like, I'm glad I got to share this with y'all, you know? Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like I've always felt like the Muslim religion or however you want to say Islam. it. Islam. Islam religion has always been like... The most straightforward, purest, like the same thing. Like I feel like this is my opinion, bro. This is just my. You seen opinion. it with your own eyes. That's yeah, why. but this is just my opinion. I just feel like the the religions over here in the U.S. Catholics. Let's just say for our. There's for, Catholics over there country. too. I know. Hold on. No, hold on, there's hold on. Catholics and Christians over there too, bro. No, but hold on. For our country, I just feel like it's so washed down that it's just switching up. Like people are preaching about different stuff. There's so many different other Bibles, and and I when I look at like the Islam religion, it's the same thing. It's been the same thing for decades, for centuries now. They'll kill somebody for rewriting a book. <laughs> no, that, the, that's crazy. <laughs> no, like, like, no, not like that. Like if yeah. you if you mess with anything with God, bro, even if you like, I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. There's never been a picture of like Muhammad, right? Mm -hmm. And if you both, if like one of y'all go wear a picture of Muhammad, bro, and go walk in LA, I bet you won't live that day. Mm -hmm. They're like, they're like, they're like, it's like that, bro. Wow. It's like that. I'm, it's like so more, that pride is, cr I love it, bro. Yeah. It's like, don't mess with my shit type shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I have a question or I have a, a what's up? Some of my scene. What's the guy from Russia? The Khabib. No, no, no. The Russian Putin. Oh. Did you see what it revealed? No, oh, the Jesus thing? Yeah. Yeah, Jesus Black. So they've been holding, if you guys haven't seen, I forgot what is how to pronounce it, but they've been holding this thing for a while now. I'm talking about like a while, while. And now he finally released it to prove that Jesus was actually black. Now, I don't believe, I don't know. I heard Jesus is brown though all the time. I don't, I don't know what to believe, but at the end of the day, it's just a trip because that leads into what I'm talking about now. You know the Victor writes the history, right? The what? Victor writes history. Elaborate. Victor, the person who wins, and oh, Victor okay. writes yeah, the yeah, history, bro. Yeah, I've including heard that all before. that shit. Come on, bro. But like going back to what I said, that's what I mean. Like this, for me as a as a U.S. I love Jesus. citizen. Shout out Esau. <clears throat> you see all this, like me. I'm very aware of situations and, and whatever people try to push on me. I've been in church, Catholic, Christian. I've been in church, and then like there's like so many other shit in between. 
And to me personally, bro, like I just, I just don't fuck. If you guys are offended, I just no, feel like no, it's it's a, it's you're a scam. learning, huh? I feel like the religion in the U.S. are scams. Like there are some people who are really about the Bible, like to the T. But I, in my opinion, like in my opinion, I just feel like most of like what's going on in the U.S. is a scam. Can That's I tell, can I tell you something? It. Make you feel better though. I met people in my life that pray and steal. That's crazy. It's it's actually the person, bro. I yeah. always that moment when I felt that and I seen it with my eyes and I see it all the time. I'm always thinking, it's not it's not the religion. Yeah. It's the person, bro. Yeah. Because yeah. in every single religion, every single aspect, in every single race, in every single group. There's some work, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. So. That's what I mean. Like, this U.S., in my opinion, religion shit is washed, bro. Nah, I, there's a lot of there's a lot of good people no, in I just, there I that said practice that. it, I too. I said that. I said there's are real ones that actually live by that shit. But in my experience, from what I've seen on my end, a lot of these motherfuckers are just washed, bro. And I'm it, like, it elaborates so I can actually understand, like... If you could break it down for me. I mean, that's a perfect, like, all right, bet. Let's just keep it I'm, simple. Like, keep, it, keep it blunt. Like, keep no, it G. Let, who the fuck keep, is going to give a fuck of what you say? Yeah, no. Let's keep it simple. Like, there's a lot of people who like to get their baby baptized, right? Or whatever. What's okay. it called? They go through communion shit. Them motherfuckers don't even go to church. How are you going to... You know what I'm talking about, bro. There's a lot of Mexicans out here like that, bro. Why do you feel... Why, why do you think they do it, though? Because it's it's like, okay, like, you're you're one foot in, one foot out. It's the right thing to do to be a Catholic as a Mexican, especially if your your parents went through communion and shit like that. So obviously, majority of anyone in the family has to go through. Do you the think same they're doing thing. for the people or they're doing for God? They do it because the, they don't do it for God. That's an excuse for God. They do it because it's the thing to do as a Mexican. So it became like a culturistic thing. This is my opinion. Yeah, it became a culturistic thing yeah. except for religion thing. Mm -hmm. You know, in Pakistan, there's Christians and uh, Christians, uh, uh, Christians and Pakistanians and uh, Muslim Pakistanians. Now I know. See, yeah. like, how, bro, <laughs> you feel they celebrate Christmas over there. Yeah, you know what I mean. So it's like no, but that's not what we're talking about. What I'm talking about is there's people who want to, oh yeah, like I'm Catholic, but don't really you know, own being a Catholic. They they don't read the Bible. They don't go to church every Sunday. They, they don't you know do their part. They don't, they do, don't Bible do their deen. Yeah, yeah, they're I not. See. They're one foot in, one foot out. And that's what I'm saying. And I'm not going to lie, bro. Like, I've been in a lot of situations where the pastor used to be a fucking ex-convict, bro. So I'm like, wait a minute, bitch. You but kill, do you see how they change, you though? You kill people? But do you see how they change, though? <clears throat> yeah, I, I do. But in my opinion, I feel like... That's crazy. Whoever's leading... Who's ever is leading should be a leader from day one when they first found out about the religion, not someone who fucking killed someone. And now it's like, OK, I'm trying to change my life. No, nah, fuck that. Fuck that. Especially mm -hmm. murder, bro, or anything. Mur if you kill if you kill one human being, it's like killing the whole in, in my religion. If you kill one human being, yeah. it says it. If you kill one human being, it's like killing all humanity. Yeah. But if you save one human being, it's like saving all humanity. Yeah. And if you treat it like that, bro. You want to be like you're the second to think like to kill somebody. Yeah. Unless they like try to hurt your family, then go ahead and go handle. You know. Okay, and I speak from this from experience. So check it out. A friend of mine from high school. I'm not gonna say a name, but he knows who I. He, they there's this there's this company. I say company church. It's a church, but it's a company because they run it like a business and it's worldwide. <laughs> And, bro, these motherfuckers are filthy rich. And I'm not talking about, oh, they have some money. No, motherfuckers got PJs, different houses here and there. The 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 main guy who started it, their whole family is from gangsters. And they the name is very big in that whole back in the day gangster shit. That's crazy. Yeah, and now, bro, I'm, I'm not playing, bro. Their kid, my friends, they're traveling to churches around the world in a private jet. They're making money from the from God, pretty much. And, yeah, that's the worst. They finesse, but no, check that it out. A lot of people did a whole Netflix thing movie no, about but this. Hold on, check it out. Then you got motherfuckers like right. I go to church with them every now and then because it's my best friend at the time. And then the mom. You, did you didn't know this though at the time? No, I did know. Okay. I was bro. I was there since like seventh grade. Oh, you know. When you figure this out, you're like, what the fuck? In high school, you're like, this is. Did you feel like morally this is wrong? I just felt like this is a business. This ain't fucking what you you people proclaim. Why do people go to church? Personally, to kind of wash their sins away and start over. If I had to give you an honest opinion. 
What do you think about but that? But imagine you're doing that every week and keep doing the same thing over and over. Yeah, that's what I'm... My, some of these people... It's it's like the thing that's that, kind of fucked up. <laughs> it is right. That's kind of fucked no, up. No, it is. It, that's it, now you're using God. Yeah. Now it's just like now you have an excuse from that. That's like honestly, I don't. Okay. Like I didn't really want to say it because I, like, I honestly I say anything I don't want because I I went through I went to like went to Catholic churches doing all my homies quinceaneras uh-huh. and quinceaneras all, uh, quinceaneras, yeah. all that. I went to uh, with my friends to uh, Christian churches before football season started. Mm-hmm. All of that, right? And I'm like, I'm got interested. I was looking, right? And I started looking how, like, the government treats, like, you know how they were in? They took out God. They just have Jesus in there. But Jesus is two things. Like, we believe Jesus is a prophet, right? This is where it goes. Mm-hmm. People think, uh, not people think, people believe in, uh, I, I respect everyone's belief. People believe Jesus is God's son. Then see, people believe Jesus is God. <coughs> I know. What, can I, now, can I ask you the question? Growing up, did you believe Jesus is God or was God's son? Um, I thought he's a prof is a prophet of God. Okay, Jesus is a prophet of God yeah. to us too. What religion are you? I'm not. That's insane that do you even say that? Because we treat Jesus like a prophet. We love Jesus. Jesus, yeah. we every single story of Jesus talking to a cradle, bro. We believe it too, bro. Yeah. All that Jesus coming back, we believe that. So yeah. all that stuff's same. But for you to say that, bro, that's insane, bro. Because like, bro, like I, I. I didn't want to just go to church and just sit there and just fall asleep, which I did sometimes. But it's like, okay, let me hear what they're talking about. And then there's been a few times where I've read the Bible a little bit, especially certain times. Like, in my life, my my family would be like, yo, read, read this part of the Bible. And then I'm like, okay, that shit hits. You know what I mean? And ultimately, like I said, bro, like, bro, you hear about, like, oh, and this is the, the ugly side of this shit. You hear about pastors molesting children a lot in the U.S., Am I wrong? Have you you guys heard of that? Yeah, right? we always hear that, that shit. That shit is horrible. They're, and they be kissing them weird mm-hmm. and stuff. I'll be like... Bro, so that's... My thing is, like... That's why I love the... Uh, Islam? What? Islam religion? Oh, uh, Islam. Islam religion? Yeah, the pastor cannot kiss that kid. No. <laughs> but, like, I feel like that's more <laughs> He's not true, touching nothing. true to the Bible more than anything in the U.S. And that's just my opinion. But... Yeah, bro, trust me, like, even all, right, even all the, pa- look, even my auntie, my auntie's a pastor for this church, but she has, a, 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 I think, a, a, a small criminal history, bro. <laughs> Shout trying out to my go auntie. rob the church, trying to go rob the old lady from the church is <laughs> crazy. Out my it's my favorite auntie, though, but, Ch- no, oh, no, one thing, just kind of go back to it, like, I knew as a young kid, if I was going to be my thing when I started going to church, because, you know, a lot of bad shit was happening when we were little kids, they wanted us to go to church, right? I used to be like, if I'm going to go to church, I got to fully give myself to God. And I knew as a little kid, I couldn't because I had to steal money for food. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? I had to go steal (laughs) snacks. And I had to, I had to do it. And you, then, no, look, I, I, you weren't stealing from people directly, right? Businesses. Okay. Yeah. No, I used to steal money out of old ladies' purses and shit. <laughs> God damn. And there, that no, was my look, church money. But look, yeah. look, look, at, look, look at how I held myself accountable. I you, didn't want to go yeah. to church. I was like, even when I would go to church or high school after that, I would, I would kind of like. Not break down, but I would feel type of way of all the bad shit I'd done in my life. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, okay, if I'm going to keep coming to church, I got to be good. You know? You know f- How old were you when you felt that? Uh, Like 18, between 18 and 20. Okay. 22. That's still good, bro. That's still mm-hmm. good. Because when I was like a kid going... Oh, no, no, no. I was in fucking middle school. That's even better. I was in middle That's school. That's even better because yeah. I'll tell you what I was doing in middle school when I went to the mosque. Bro, like my mom put me on, uh, put me on the good things. She would never force me. She'd tell me pray, 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 and they would make me pray, bro. Bro, when I would go to the mosque, like like I would go to school, I would go there, and hang out, right. So as soon as people start praying, I go outside, bring my football, pop it, pop the trunk, bring the football out. All the kids yeah, play football. Yeah, I see, yeah. And my mom's, my mom's like uh, the people outside, like they would come outside, be like come inside. I'm like your mom's calling you, bro. <laughs> 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 I ain't gone inside. You yeah. feel me? Then I'm not gonna lie to you. When I was like getting older, I was like. Like my, I first like moved to LA actually from Victorville. I was very lost, bro. As, yeah. as I was like, why am I even here in this yeah. world, bro? Like I felt that when I was little, I'm like, what's the point of this life? Not yeah. knowing that my parents are teaching me and I'm like, oh, it's just, you know what I mean? It's a way of life. That's what I just didn't know. I'm just still learning, bro. Yeah. I didn't know. 
I knew my friends were different religions, and I started learning that. And I'm like, okay, mm-hmm. that's cool. But to the point where I was like, I, I think I was like 20, 21, mm-hmm. 22, I started really like sat down, bro. And I, I really didn't have, like, I literally have nothing, bro. My mom would be just pray, bro. Mm-hmm. So I was just like, in my worst moment, bro, I just prayed. I'm not going to lie to you. I literally, I prayed at my worst moment, bro. And like, slowly I started like just asking why am i here what's mm-hmm. the point of this what's god what's my religion why do i pray what do i say in my prayer and i started realizing like when i see a law of says god is the greatest mm-hmm. and like and it was like alhamdulillah me it's talking about how thanking you thank you god thanks for creating me like appreciate you like love bro mm-hmm. like the whole prayer it's like i it's like just showing gratitude i'm like oh so i just you just like created me like why'd you create me how many souls were created were they created at the same time why'd you pick me why'd you like why'd you create me yeah i go like and then when you get that it's deep when you start asking like now is the day you know i tell god almost every day hey thanks for creating me yeah and then the, my key got found to prayer so i started remember you met me five times a day mm-hmm. you know what i mean That's i just true. came from juma today and no one holds me accountable for prayer myself. Not my mom. I don't even... I tell my brother to pray, but he, that's his own time. My little sister's all in their time. They see me yeah. pray. You know what I mean? But it's to the point where I was like, wait, there's there's something bigger. There's something that created this, all of this. And then the people were like talking about the universe. I'm like, who created this, right? Yeah. And then I started reading the Quran, bro. And I read the I finished, uh, I finished the Quran and I read it over and over. Uh, not read it. I listened to it in English because I can't read Arabic. Yeah. So I just listened to the Quran uh, in uh, English over and over and over for years, bro. Before I fell asleep in the car rides. And, and it's talking about the Noah story. I'm like, what? Yeah. Like, 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 that shit was like in detail. I'm like, what? And it talked about some people. It's talked about like. How people were tested. Then I started like, oh, this is a test. My mom would tell me this is a test. Some people got uh, patient. Abraham got tasted in faith. You know what I mean? Uh, look at your, the homie was named Abraham. How many people do you know Abraham? The one. One? I know a lot of people yeah. named Abraham, bro. Yeah. Um, so, I'm, so, I'm, so I'm reading the Quran, right? And I, I start seeing stories, right? And then I start seeing people getting tested. Mm-hmm. And then some people got tested for patience. Some people got tested with wealth. Some people got tested with helping other people. Some people got tested with diseases, fat, mm-hmm. every single thing. And there's a story I'm reading and I'm like, there's a point of every single, there's a, there's a learning aspect of this, right? Right, right? So then I realized like life is a learning aspect, right? Hell yeah. And pretty much uh, I'm like, okay, you don't. You don't get put onto this world. This is this is my person. That's how I really felt. You don't get put onto this. Uh, you don't get put into something unless there's an instruction manual, right? And then, and then it was talking about in there like when people die, how you spread the uh, even your uh, will. And then it goes deep, bro. And yeah. I'm like, yo, what? And he shows like after you get a divorce, what happens or how you're supposed to treat it. I'm like, yeah. I'm not asking nobody for nothing no more. I know how to handle this shit, bro. Yeah. Then I'm like, oh, bro, this opened a new thing for me. And I'm standing here, like, just praying and joining it. And I see my life just just become what it is. And I'm like, and I tell God to use me. And I had a text message, and I'll read it to you. And you just read it out loud, but you don't have to. Uh, you read it you out don't, loud. You don't know. You can read it. You can read it out loud, but you don't have to. You read it out loud. No, bro, you don't have, you don't have to read it no, out loud, look, but read look, it out no, loud. It. It's, it, it's Someone texted me this yesterday, <laughs> and they really needed me. <clears throat> they really needed me, and I pulled up on them. Mm-hmm. What did it say? That's deep. You want me? I don't. You read that. Bitch. He said, "Couldn't really articulate what I wanted to say to you <laughs> yesterday. Thank you. Just doesn't do justice. It was a pleasure meeting you. We were locked in forever. I ask God every day to use me." It's not about wealth or anything. Like, personally, walk around, yeah, I can even talk to somebody and make them smile. Yeah. I know they need it. I just know they need it. Yeah. So I, when, I, when I transferred myself, bro, to every single thing, and I'm telling you, the real game high became every single thing that I have and who I am. I, I literally was like, hey, yo, this is fun. I want to be great. But God, along the way, just use me to better people. Yeah. Inspire people. You know what I mean? Uh, help me love people who love you, you know? And an aspect of people who don't attract them to you. You know what I mean? And I'm like, I'm just going to be an, I don't want to be the car that hits every single car on the street. And people are like, damn, what fucking horrible ass shitty ass car. I want to be that nice car that drives around uh, across the street. And people are like, damn, that's a nice car. I want, I want that car. I'm on a car just like that. You know what I mean? That's how I looked at religion, bro. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, dude, I'm just want to be closer to my creator. Mm-hmm. How do I do that? on be the best version of myself. And when I started being the best version of myself, started just 
being in a good mood. I just smile at people, not really be negative people, not make judge people, make fun of people. I start really being open heartedly. Like you even see me, even when you make fun of people, but even I used to do that. Mm -hmm. I used to make fun of people. Then there's something that clicked. I'm like, but you be joking and it'd be funny as fuck though. Mm -hmm. But I'd be like, Joe, don't be like, don't even mm -hmm. do it. And you say, you look, I'm like, bro, don't even do that right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Cause I feel something. You never know what that person's going through. Yeah. Someone thing could have happened to him that day. The parents could have died or something. I'm mm -hmm. like, I'm not, I'm not going to be that person that walks this earth lightly that yeah. makes people's day. No matter how my intu like intrusive thoughts want to fuck me up right now. That's shaitan. Yeah. That's the devil. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But no, nah, but like, just but, but, you but, but on the real note. making fun of someone playing basketball on the street right now. Bitch. Hey, but I, what I told him though, that's some LA shit right now. Yeah, yeah, facts. Hey, talking about LA shit, what's the, so today I was dry, uh, like literally we were in the car driving. My homie got a new dope dispensary. And I see a bus turn, and I looked after the bus. This dude made a fucking basketball hoop, and he was hooping outside the, uh, the middle of the street, middle of the street, and the side of the tents, bro, having the best time of his life. And I'm telling my brother, goes, "Damn, bro, I had to work my ass off today, and then I'm enjoying life right there." <laughs> hey, LA homeless people are different though. They're so living. I had a homeless interaction <laughs> yesterday. It was like uh, I was at in the West Side and really don't see homeless people. So this big ass black dude with dreads, bro, and he was tweaking out, and sitting on the side. Mm -hmm. But I was going to a dispensary, but I had a couple extra jerseys, right? And so I was like, this dude's like a large, extra large. I'll see what he wants. You know what I mean? I walked up to bro, he's tweaking, bro. I didn't even think he was gonna talk to me correctly. Bro, stop tweaking. He goes, Damn. he goes, I'm fine, bro. I'm good. I'm good. Then I and I go, are you sure? He goes, yeah, I'm sure. I turn around, start tweaking again, and I'm like. Like saying a little loud shit, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, like some homeless people run around and scare people, but that guy was a different type of homeless, tweaked out person. He was cool, yeah. but like, I feel like they're not really doing anything to the homeless problem in LA. They're I don't think they're shit. Cause I pass by that shit every day. They just give them free meals and through some random group that comes in LA, be like, I'm gonna go help the homeless up. people today. Yeah. I'm gonna go to Skid Row. You go to Skid Row, those people don't even take food. Yeah. They're like, no, I'm already good. Bro, they're getting free medical checkups on the side of the fucking street. And at the end of the day, motherfuckers are paying shit. They are, money. though. I see it. Mm -hmm. I seen it. I seen it like yesterday and the day before. Cause yeah. I go through it, bro. And I'm not gonna lie to you, not all those people are horrible, bro. But actually, the United not States is a pretty big people place, right? Yeah. If the government stops sending money everywhere, bro, and it actually help the people and make sure the next generation isn't fucked up. We'd be a really good place, you know what I mean? You can't help. People you just go to the mouth of the like river. That, you just go to the mouth of the river, bro. Bro, there's just people in this world that don't want to be helped. You think there's there's tweakers everywhere, huh? In the every, world, every every, every state. Uh, you know, you know this probably. Do you think there's a country without tweakers? No, fuck no. No, bro, there has to be, bro. No, there's not. There's not, bro. Drugs are everywhere. Drugs make this world go around too, bro. Yeah, the biggest companies be selling the biggest drugs and they be blaming it on the communities that be selling like, drugs and locking that, up people. That's why they still let all the cartels and still they make it like a point like, oh yeah, like we're trying to prevent it. But no, they're not. They're the bad. <laughs> no, they're not. They're letting that shit through. Not hey. one out of 10 trucks, we got to stop. Once a year, we got to make a big bus. But the other 90, 100 trucks, let them through. Hey, so I'm Pakistani American, right? Mm -hmm. And I really classify myself American because I'm the living American dream. And a lot of my friends, a lot of the peers, a lot of people are going around me can test for that, right? Mm -hmm. Do you think Americans aren't happy anymore? The ones that are struggling financially are not happy. Because even back in the day, like, you know, that all right, I'll go go with me on this. The whole back in the day. Did we where, talk about this last week? No, 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 we didn't. Okay. The whole back in the day thing to kind of reference something is like back in the day, it'd be like, okay, typical family is you get in a relationship. The dad is or the husband or whatever. The man is the bread owner and the woman stays at home. Now that's been done for the last 25, 30 plus years, maybe longer. It's not like that anymore, right? <laughs> Hell no. Nah. I what? mean, explain, only, explain only, how it only is, to like the one, one or 3% highest income earners in the world can really just explain do that. the trauma, bro. What? Explain the trauma of America. Uh, America. Explain it, bro, because this is a real thing. Yeah, I don't no, want to dodge I mean, this topic. This uh, is a honest, really good topic. Yeah, no, like honestly, bro. You like, really told the you told the tenfold of it. Yeah. You literally told it what it was. Yeah. I, I was thinking about it. Like, why aren't really Americans happy? It's not financial. It's the part that people don't want to get married anymore because there's like it's too much crazy shit going on right there. People don't even believe in the morals of all that. No. People are like, oh, I'm independent. I'm gonna do it myself. And then they go out, then they're outside, and they're like, damn, I'm not happy. Feel me? The kids are at home. 
got three different baby mamas, not even saying anything shade on any fucking person out there. A lot of my homies got three baby mamas, two baby mamas. You know what I mean? Like, with love for you. And you, they share the pain with me. I go, hey, what's the worst thing about having that? He goes, well, bro, not seeing my kid every night and going to sleep with him. Yep. That told me <coughs> everything and everything that I wanted to know and shape my life, bro. I don't want to have three baby, two baby mamas. I want to have a woman that I truly, like amazing and inspired because I want to be the best version of myself and I'm trying to find the person that uh, come uh, attract you know what I mean they attracts and I want to create something so dope which is a human and feed the knowledge to it and create it and honestly share it with my friends mm -hmm. group and that probably will make me happier because I know there's people around me that care for me mm -hmm. and love me for who I am yeah and that's happiness but to kind of double back. A lot of people like, try to get happiness from other uh, other people's situation, like other people's uh, perception and stuff. Yeah. That's why they be flexing and doing all this shit, bro. Yeah. But could, to kind of double back of what we first were like asked the question is, bro, it's come down to the point where the U.S. or the government, whoever controls like the taxes and the money and the pay, whatever it is. The media you know, too. It's come down to a point where all these easy jobs are going to be wiped out Go to AI computers and shit like that. Anyone that's like a necessity, like doctors, fucking uh, anything related to drugs, lawyers, uh, police officers and shit like that, you know, high-end people like that, business owners, it's going to come down to a world where those are the people that only really matter, bro. Like there's literally going to be a solid line to where this, anything below this line is poverty. We, we talked about this during COVID. And everything above is like you're damn near rich, and then there's filthy rich, and then there's just the medium house is gone. Yeah, it's gone. either you're, either you got money or you don't I have mean, money. I mean, think about it. They just made a fucking burger spot somewhere around here where it's just run all by robots. That's yeah, they did. Happen. We were gonna go there. <coughs> so my point is just like there, the, the everyone world, wants to be a trapper, no one wants to be a plumber. Yeah, the world plumber's a necessity. The world has come they to a bread. point where. They just made it harder for people to just live a life. So that whole American dream used to be, to me, in my opinion, that whole American dream was like 30, 40 years ago. That 30, 40 years ago back is where it's like, okay, the American dream is really about working hard. Working hard, working hard, working hard. And we're just going to keep- For somebody. We're, yeah, we're going to keep taking and taking and taking from these hardworking individuals. And pay the world. Yeah, and create all these claims or these bills the or the off. taxes and just take money away. So they're basically working for us like slaves and we're taking 40, 50% That's of That's exactly money. what it is, bro. So anyone, how do you, you know, How do you beat that matrix then? How do you how do you become a happy as an American? You got to break the system, the program, and go be an entrepreneur and create a multi-million dollar business. Like to be keep, keep it sweet and Or simple. get with a group of people and do it together. Yeah. There's, that's between the lines, but I'm saying overall. Overall, that's the moving idea. Moving forward in the next 10 plus years, if motherfuckers aren't making at least 150 to 200,000 a year minimum, you're not, you're going to be struggling. You're going to be struggling what it is now at 50 or 60,000 and below. Hey, it's crazy. Br bringing this topic, I'm actually giving people, uh, I love creating jobs. I love creating opportunities. Big Chief has created so many jobs and opportunities, right? You know what I mean? There's a lot of families that depend on us, right? So I have an internship program. And in pretty much, it's called, the email is below. Go hit your resume before uh, below. I'm hiring sales reps in California. And you guys are getting paid. These other two positions, it's up to you. I'm hiring media, uh, a meeting, hiring media interns uh, that can run Photoshop and uh, run all, make graphics, maybe 3D graphics, or, or like have a little finesse to the media. Camera people, uh, camera people, people who edit every single type of media aspect. If you think you do media and you really want to take it serious, hello at bigchiefextracts.com uh, is the email. And hello, just hello at bigchiefextracts.com. And then I'm also hiring assistants. And then the assistants I'm hiring uh, in Miami, uh, Texas, uh, <coughs> and mostly LA. If you're in LA, you'll be around me all day and I'll teach you the jacks of the trades and you just have to be organized and be the, become the best version of yourself and ego, not have no ego and just go hard every single day and you will get an opportunity and you, I will put you in place to win because I have so many connections in the industry, right? So I really want to create jobs, want to create opportunities to people Hell as yeah. well. So I started creating this program last week, the Big Chief Internship Program. 
So hello at bigchiefextracts.com. It's in the bio right there below. Just click it. Go ahead and send your resume. Also, if you really want to like catch my attention, because a lot of people emailing me right now, uh, create a video and tell me why you should be, deserve to be selected. You know what I mean? And that really separates you. And then even send me some of your work. I, I would love that, you know, on your resume. Yeah. But yeah, what do you think about that? Creating jobs. I think that's dope. I think it's a great opportunity for people that at least want to see what the industry's like or get their foot in the door. And sometimes you got to do shit like this. So it's a great opportunity for people to take advantage of it. Look at the bigger picture here. You know what I mean? And yeah, just know what you're getting into. But I think it's a great opportunity for people. And it's, it's it could be a blessing depending on how hard they work. You know what I mean? I hate you say I lay up. They mm -hmm. put in their newsletter. Dope. <laughs> Hell yeah. Today, uh, today I told them to print out me some flyers. I'm going to go post them myself at USC and FIDM Academy. Dope. That's Fa the fashion school right there, too. So you know what I mean? I'm like, let me give these kids opportunities to succeed. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because there's a lot of people that have all these degrees and do all this shit, but they lack the opportunity. Hell yeah. I, I like people who like chasing their dreams. Mm -hmm. That means more than how much money you're worth or what you can do. Yeah. If you got a motherfucking drive and like getting better every fucking day at your craft, I'll fucking invest in you. Yeah. I'll really be with you. Show you know how what bad I mean? you want it. You know what I'm saying? And Prove yourself. 100%. And I feel like that's... <laughs> <laughs> to me, like that's the American dream. Yeah, I'm living the motherfucking American dream. <laughs> oh yeah. Hey, so shout out Elon Musk. You see the he's living the American dream too. Uh, is he Canadian? I don't fucking know. Where is where's Elon Musk from? <coughs> South Africa. He's South African, huh? I guess. Shout out South Africa. Hey, yeah. so, hey, South Africa stood up for Palestine, and you my homie, South Africa. I love that's you. Dope. Shout out. But anyway, South Africa. Uh, not South Africa, Elon Musk launched his fucking uh, uh, SpaceX launch into the uh, space the other day. It was like last Monday. Oh, shit. It was at 7.30, 7.25. I was breaking my fast outside smoking a blunt, and I looked up, and then the homie goes, hey, look, it's Elon Musk's ship. <laughs> 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 that shit went pew. That's crazy. That's bro, dope, though. Bro, what do you, did you see it? I know a lot no, of people I, saw it in I the LA area. I've, I've seen really the videos. I've been on social media like that lately. But, uh, Bro, like, what do you think about Elon Musk just, like, sending rockets into space right now? I just feel like that's, that's dope crazy. as fuck. He's having I bet, fun. I bet you there's been a lot of trial and error, and I wonder if they're sending humans or computers up there or robots up there first. Yeah, I think he's just sending the ship. You don't even yeah. need the humans no more on there. You, you're such a big name. You're well-known, and the last thing you want is for someone to die on one of your ideas. That's not even the coolest thing he did this week. You know the coolest thing Elon Musk did this week? He, you know, Neuralink, we were talking about it a while back, the chip. Uh -huh. So he had his first, uh, he did the human trials of it, right? Uh -huh. The dude was playing uh, chess with his brain. What? Yeah. He is literally playing chess on the, on the, you know, on the computer with his brain. That's crazy. And, and he was like, he could you type messages right there. You could yeah. do everything. You don't have to touch nothing. He gets thinking and he could put it on there. That's kind of crazy. It kind of gets crazy. You look, you start showing them uh, <laughs> big booty bitches right there. And on the screen is big booty bitches. <laughs> stop that. Stop that. Stop that. <laughs> what is, that's crazy. What if there's a fucking cyber hack? Hey, honestly, imagine you can't use all all your, like, imagine you can't use your legs, right? Mm -hmm. I'm taking that risk. Yeah. No mother, whoever fucking hacking people's legs, you're a dickhead. <laughs> no, it's the brain. Bro, the imagine you're control. paralyzed. Imagine you're paralyzed and they put that shit right there and your shit can move again. Imagine you're brain dead. They're like, oh, he's missing this. You know what I mean? That's crazy. That part, that'd be crazy. But a lot of other shit That's comes with that. We'll oh. Talk about it. What comes with that? Like, God does say don't mess with his, the creation. You know what I mean? Yeah. But do you think that's just medically or how? Like, I don't yeah. know where that line is. I mean, I don't know too much about it, but... Yeah, like, I mean, why do you think there's people that are paralyzed from the head down, uh, chest down? Like, their brain is fully intact. It's just, they lost Some nerve or something. They all got, this shit is Yeah, damaged. something just well, damaged or it. They, they, they damaged their spinal cord, and it's just a wrap. It's a wrap, but there now you, you can just replace. hit that. Yeah. But now you can hit the Neuralink, and you can replace it. We, we don't know that. Hey, he's working on it, bro. I believe it, but. I, I really think it. he's going to make it happen in our lifetime. I mean, people I, got I Alzheimer's. It helps with people who got Alzheimer's and stuff. And That's why they made that AI movie, bro, to show what it's gonna be like. Damn near, give you an example or preview of what it's gonna be like. My mom called me about that movie the other day. She goes, she just watched it, bro. Yeah. She goes, be careful though. Remember what you're telling me, bro? I, I'm like, bro, you're like 
But how long ago were you talking about that? I don't know. I said, Mom, you're like two months late, bro. Oh, yeah, and yeah. I'm like, I'm already, I'm already past that. Yeah. And I said, you seen the letters that were dropped, though? She goes, yeah, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Hey, you're a trip, bro. Yeah. I know you're watching this. Yeah. So the Dan Schneider thing, uh, they do what he did with Josh from Drake and oh, Josh and oh uh, all Sam from... Uh, Let's talk about this. Hey, Let's bro, in, in all the beautifulness, I want to actually, like, something angers me, bro. Yeah. Something angers me, bro. You remember we used to like watch Nickelodeons as a kid. We used to watch like there yeah. used to be like Ike Carly. They shit. used to be uh, fucking Drake and Josh. Yeah. All these child actors, right? Have you seen the thing he's been coming out? This fucking sicko named Dan Snyder. Yeah. And he's been like made these kids do. Whoa. <laughs> that was the craziest one on this episode. It was ninety episodes in. That shit. That was that was the craziest one yet. You threw up, huh? No, what the fuck? It was like a dry cough. You know what's sicker than that? Dan Snyder, you fucking sicko. Bro, so I I, I see start seeing the thing with iCarly, the girl Sam mm -hmm. from iCarly. And pretty much you go, Sam, I'll give you the show if you do certain things. And they would make him do weird feet. She would, he would make her keep doing weird some weird feet stuff because he has foot fetish and all these weird things. Then he got touching allegations and... Josh from Drake and Josh, he's fucked up. I seen him. I seen Bro. him probably a year ago, honestly, a year and a half ago. Then I heard he went missing for two days, and a lot of weird shit started happening to bro. Bro came out, bro, and said Dan Schneider was doing weird shit to me. Yeah, I seen part of the interview where the dude was like, you know, the first I think he said it's like the first time it happened. You know, I was in his. Uh, we were in the officer's room, and he was basically saying like. You know, they were going over script and shit like that. He happened to fall asleep and he woke up to the dude sucking his dick. And then he was... I didn't like, know that. <laughs> bro, that's what he said. And I'm like, what the fuck? He drugged him or something? No, bro, just fell asleep because they're, they're young kids. I guess they spent a long time, you know, filming and shit like that. And then he fell asleep, he woke up to the dude sucking his dick. And then... That shot her. The, whoever the main guy that yeah, yeah. that's not you sick fuck yeah, you I told you fuck. sicko and then he goes he's like I didn't know what to do and then he's like the guy's like you know what I'm sorry I don't know what it got into me this guy the guy that Dan whatever he's like I don't know what got into Dan me sicko, like call yeah that. they'll never this will never happen again and then he's like but then it did happen again because he would tell my parents that we needed to go over script so my parents would drop me off and it would happen again and again and again and again and I'm like in my head I'm like. Your parents didn't teach you shit. First thing parents should be teaching kids is, yo, don't let no one touch you if it's not mom or dad. Don't let you no one touch you. You think parents got caught in the fame yeah. too? If if something if someone ever touches you down there, you know, tell tell me right away or tell the whoever the teacher or the cops whoever it is, you know. But bro, like, how do you let that go on? And then he was also saying they're th he was threatening them their career. I'm like, bro, like the world is that fucked up, and this still happens to. The, Today. You know what came out right after that? What? You know that show with the uh with the guy that they're like him and his dad, they have like a it's like a show. It's like Lil J or something. He he's writes a little pocket bike in one episode. It's funny. There's like a burger. I don't know. It's this dude is popping off on there. He's in uh he's in also a couple other like TV episodes. I forgot his name, but the main mm -hmm. point of all of this is he came out, he said, yeah, that's why they canceled my show because I didn't want to uh, get my booty booty rid out by that guy right there. And they canceled my show. What the fuck? Yeah, he came out and said they canceled my show because of that. I believe it, bro. And I'm like, damn, bro, because I used to watch that show he was talking yeah. about. And I'm yeah. like, it just disappeared as a kid. Like, swear to you, bro, as a kid, I'm like, damn, where'd that show go, bro? Yeah. And then like, he comes out. That's why he brought it back to my attention. Like, this random ass thing, he came out after that, bro, and he told, said that, and I'm like, yeah, there's some weird shit going on yeah. with all these fucking kids yeah. from Ariana Grande, Yo, the yeah, I Carly, yeah. to all them people. They were getting fucking abused <coughs> and used. They were getting abused. Even Britney abused, Spears bro. getting abused by yeah. the man. All these, bro, a lot of these people in Hollywood were getting abused yeah. by these uh, the, uh, the elites, bro, and it's fucking scary. It's scary and it's fucked up, bro. My parents were like, that's, be that's careful of the movie industry. When I grew up, my parents yeah. were like, hey, the music and the movie industry is the devil industry. Mm -hmm. They used to, I mean, check it out. Check it out. You, there's a lot of movies out there where, you know, certain jobs or certain schools or certain, you know, whatever. In the movies, they're like, well, what are you willing to do to get that promotion? Or I won't, if they got caught, I won't do anything. I won't say anything. I didn't say anything, but what are you willing to do type shit? That's still going on, bro. And this world's fucked up. And power is the cause of that. Being able to call the shots, being able to predict Cat Williams said it someone's all. future 
or or threaten them when that's all they want in life is to be successful. Black or famous it's called blackballing. Or yeah, blackballing. Or blackmailing. Sure. It's blackmailing, right? Both, same thing. But uh, it's just ridiculous, bro. And that's why I encourage people, you know what? Like, start to understand entrepreneurship, do your research. Figure out what you have passion for. Figure out what you feel like you can make money doing. Motherfuckers want to get famous and look at that shit. And then, shit and crazy. then boom, bro. You can make a lot of money and then become famous. Be your famous own doing way. good shit. Yeah. You don't have to be famous and sucking dick or anything. <laughs> what it's the wild, fuck? bro. These motherfuckers. I would have been fucking these dudes up. I, I would have kicked that motherfucker in the jaw and killed Kobe, him. Bro. He would have had to die right bro, there. I probably would have stabbed the dude. He would have had to that die right there. Fuck that. And I would have sued Nickelodeon, whatever. What? Whoever ever was like, hey, yo, what the fuck? Bro, I was raised damn near training. I knew it was freaky. Us fighting hey, shit. I knew it was freaky when they said Nick at night. Them up. <laughs> you hear me? Yeah. That's how I knew it was freaky. No, fuck. When bro. they when it started playing Nick at night, you're like, the parents are like, turn this shit off. Yeah. And I'm like, Nickelodeon, you sick. Bro, if if I was a parent and my son or daughter or whatever came up to me and told me something, I'm riding. I, I believe it. It's a rap. It's I'm over. Like, fuck. Who did it? Let me go push the issue. Let me see how they act. Let me check their energy. And from there, I'll figure out if they're lying or, or not, bro. And I'm fucking swinging. I'm going to jail today. Get ready. ready. Get the, bomb be- the bonds ready because hey, I'm going to jail. For you out there, I'm going to leave you all a message. This world is more beautiful than ugly. You yeah. know what I mean? I'm going to leave it as that because we are talking about the last topic. Giants fucking sicko Snyder. You fuck fuck. Yeah. Ooh, you sicko. But anyways, starting from the first conversation to the last <coughs> conversation, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's why... I am the way I am. The way I move is the way I move because I know if I move that certain way, nothing can interfere in my path, bro. I know my faith is so strong. Nothing can bother me, bro. And I've done so much good out there. People want to see me win. You feel yeah, me? Yeah. I'd rather, I'd rather program my mind to believe in good stuff around the world that's so hate, hateful. But I go out you know, on social media, I see hatefulness, but I go into the real world and I see beautiful Mm-hmm. I see sunshine. I see amazing human beings. Here and there, I see some weirdos. You feel me? Like the corner mm-hmm. store, you know what I mean? Maybe some weirdos. But other than that, yeah. going out in public, bro, doing my thing, I meet one. Of, uh, I meet amazing person every single day. And they leave, a, they leave a piece of character that is so amazing. And I'm like, bro, I respect this person. I need them in my corner type mm-hmm. shit every day, bro. Mm-hmm. So never think this world is so ugly. Never be scared of making amazing relationships. Just be aware of how you're uh, in that situation. Don't let people use you. Don't let people abuse you. Yeah. Crazy. Stay yep. big chief what in. And if you out there want an opportunity or you know somebody that's on their fucking hustle not on their, uh, and they're on their game, recommend them to hello at bigchiefxtracks.com. Hello. Bring them through, uh, hello. Bring them to the Big Chief uh, internship program and let's win. Yes, sir. Peace. See you. Like, subscribe, comment. Llama, llama, red pajama, I feel alone with I'm a mama, uh-huh, uh-huh Baby, llama wanna drink, mama, llama at the sink, uh-huh, uh-huh